Namaste, my Zen Zebras. I wanted to come on and do this unboxing. It's it's not a, a long unboxing. I just wanted to make sure my sassy subs, hey, remember that? My sassy subs know that I love you very much and um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I have my candle lit. Uh, prayers up for Jen, Zen Jen, and, and anybody else who needs some prayers. Um, and I also have my name on that candle for health, uh, love, and success. I still have my floaters. And there is my, sorry about my table, but it's Christmas, okay? Um, and I have to clean all of this up. So tomorrow I am devoting myself to finishing, bringing in all the stuff, the crap from the trunk and finishing uh this whole christmas stuff um anyhow are you ever really done but thank you so much my 500 my 5000 subs on december 10th 2022 after starting um J uh july i think july 26th or 24th 2019 I should write that, but I don't see my pen. That's okay. Um, I got to 5,000. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. So I just want you to see this, that I'm saying thank you. You know how I have to write everything down. And this is the real one right here. Let me just light this up. I have one lit, but I ha I bought today, I bought my incense holder that's a long stick type of thing in Five Below, um, but it's in the car because it was raining, so I left everything in the car from yesterday and the day before, um, but I did mail out a whole bunch of stuff today. Anyhow, 5,000. Thank you, Bella Butterflies. Thank you, Zen Zebras. Thank you, unique unicorns and merry mermaids and merry mermen. I know there's a few of you. And namaste ninjas. There's a whole bunch of namaste nin ninjas out there. I thank you from the bottom of my heart chakra to the tip of my crown chakra and everything in between. I thank everybody who follows me for when I'm just talking about nothing, when I'm doing a walk and talk, when I'm doing a vlog in my car or just complaining about the matrix in general or about aches and pains and you still watch me or when I'm happy and grateful and drinking a um a diet coke at the end of a day um or having a coffee or having my Jesus juice Oop. okay <laughs> anyhow I thank you sincerely guys I thank you and I just want to um Give some kudos. Uh, let me put you up here for now. Hi. Who's that? Okay. <laughs> no, it's not Molly Golightly. Okay. Um, it is Karma. This wig is from Tracy, one of my beautiful soul sisters from another mister and another mother. And uh, Tracy, my... I always call her my number one stalker. Thank you so much for everything. Um, all these years. And um, sometimes I told her that I'm going to give her job away to somebody else because she wasn't stalking me as much. But anyhow, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, she gave me this wig. And I think at first I called it Carmel. It has a name, but of course I have to mystic brady it up right so and i want to just say thank you everybody that's in the brady bunch the mystic brady bunch not just the brady bunch the mystic brady bunch okay because we are a very unique unique crew okay unique unicorn crew um so i wanted to tell you i went to the post office finally and my other friend is that better? No, that's worse. That is worse. Okay. So let me put you up there because I have a stand, but I don't want to use it 
I don't really need these right now. I don't want to use my stand because it's really hard to find a place on this um, messy table. I was going to put say something else, but that's not nice because I'm going to try to be nice to myself. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I feel like there's a hair in my mouth, and there probably is. Um, my blind spot stuff is worse, and I don't know why that is. Anyhow, um, yeah, so my table's messy because I work on this table, I create on this table, um, and I make magic happen on this table. I do readings on this table, so I'm not going to put down the table. Um, thank God I have this table, okay, uh, because I don't have office space. Anyhow, um, thank you guys. So the first thing that I want to, uh, say that I got in the mail is from my friend, my good friend. Look at this beautiful, luxurious bag. And her name is Tracy, but it's spelt T-R-A-C-E-Y. And... She, um, had told me, remember she sent me the, um, the other card for Thanksgiving? Okay. Cheers, everybody. 5,000. Okay, it's not every day that you get 5,000. And I think the last time I looked, I had 5,001. Okay, anyhow. Guys, I made a video last night. Only a few of you saw it. Like probably a hundred people well there was a hundred views it was only up for maybe four hours I took it down because it wasn't a, a good reflection of me and it wasn't even that funny it was pathetic I actually put my head down on the table to go to take a, a mini nap um, but what was dangerous about that is there was a candle lit I think and incense lit I don't know maybe there wasn't a candle lit no maybe there was Anyhow, I took a quick uh, little mini nap. Um, so anyhow, Tracy was a very nice um, person who mailed me that beautiful Thanksgiving card. And I really appreciated it. And now she just mailed this to me. Actually, she mailed it to me probably a week ago. But it takes me a while to get to that post office box. Because it's a different one from the, the one I mail, do my mailing in is closer the one that I have my post office box is a few blocks away. And for some reason, it takes me a while to get there. So I am sorry. Namaste. I'm sorry about that. So here's the unboxing. Beautiful bag. Christmas. It says Navidad. I was showing it to Devin. He was like, what does that say? I thought it meant Feliz Navidad. And look what's in here. Oh. <gasps> I'm showing you like the pe makeup people and the jewelry people do. They put their hand like this. It's a snowman. And it goes with my ring. Look. Isn't that the cutest freaking thing that you ever did see? Look at that. Let me put my hand there again. Thank you so very much. I would put it on, but with the wig, it's too hot. I love it. I'll be wearing this with my with my ring. It goes perfectly, and it's so beautiful. And I had you know I love snowmen. I absolutely love snowmen, and I love this chain. Oh, my gosh. It's nice and long. But I always wear my necklaces long because I don't want to feel like I'm suffocating and choking. Tracy, thank you so very much. And I'm going to read your card now. Just give me a moment. Don't worry, guys. I won't be a hot mess like last night. I'm so very sorry. I, I think I taught you about the moon water. And that was true. That's all true. I did that. I've been drinking it. I'm almost done with it, actually. And be careful because things come true. Things are coming true. I went to sleep after drinking my moon water. I woke up and I had 5,000 subs. So things can happen. Hey, it only took four years. Um, now my new goal is 
7,000. Not that it'll change my life, but that's my favorite number, 7 and then 8. So between those two numbers, I'd be happy. I'm so happy right now. Oh, so let me just read you the beautiful card. Christmas. Christmas. Okay, it says Merry Christmas. And I love those little penguins. Merry, dear Katrina, Casper, and Devin. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you, Tracy. That's so sweet of you. Maybe you could do another reading on mahogany. And I'm writing that in my book. Okay? Here is my marker. I will do another reading on mahogany. And Michael and Summer. We can't forget about any of them. She said to see if we could find another location. And I'm putting, I'm putting a check next to her, Harmony's name. I will do that. Um, I just have to get my, just like give me some time, like, because uh, I have to do Sagittarius reading and um, it's Christmas. And Christmas always stresses the F out of me, okay? And everybody else, I think so. Because you put so much, you put so much pressure on yourself and it, it's the materialism. That's why I kind of like Thanksgiving better. Um, anyway, it's all right. I, I do it every year. I've been doing this every year since I'm um, even a little kid because I have a big family. So I always worried about getting a nice present and I always felt, they're not going to like the presents I get them. And then it's just like an unending thing. But anyhow, Tracy, and then you gave me your number. I'm putting that number in my phone so that I could text with you. Okay. Um, and you gave me your email. The thing with emails, I can't see them that well. So I have to put this, the old glasses on. Like my eyes are, uh, been getting blurry but I have good vision I have 2020 in one eye and 2025 in the other eye for an old dude a lot of people would be envious of that so I shouldn't complain about anything but um I find that if I put the glasses on when I'm reading something it kind of helps me so thank you so much this was gorgeous Tracy thank you very very much you didn't have to do any of that I thank you and I treasure I treasure your support and your friendship and thank you for being so um, sweet to me and remembering me uh, and everybody at Christmas. Thank you. Okay, next up, next up we have Miss MC and um, MC is my friend, MC. Sometimes you see her on the channel. She used to, way back in the day, when I first used to do my healing artwork and affirmations, she, I, I was all mixed up. I didn't know how to do this thing called YouTube. I didn't know how to do this thing called life. Okay. No, I know how to do the thing called life, but I really didn't understand how I was supposed to promote myself, make the artwork, create the artwork, the healing artwork get the affirmations down and she even offered to type up the affirmations because I you know your girl does everything old school but the reason why I like to do the handwriting them myself is because I'm stubborn and I'm also that's how I learn myself that's how I remind myself of affirmations is when I do the research and I write it down and then I make copies of it for you guys and I put together in a folder when you pick out a healing artwork that resonated with you. Anyhow, MC authored and did a whole um, price list. I would give her the prices. I would give her the um, names of the artwork. And she organized it. She put the numbers on it. She put the titles and the prices. And she would email it over to Devin's computer because I'm so lame. I can't really get onto my computer. Okay, um, so Devin would get the download from MC and MC would do this 
And meanwhile, she has a full-time job. So MC has a special place in my heart. She came around when there was an MG, I think, from Mexico, New Mexico. But she's not around anymore. I don't know where she is. I love her too. Um, and DC. DC's still around. So it was DC from Washington, DC. And there was MC from NE, I think. Okay, anyhow, let's not get let's not get into logistics at this time of night, okay? And b besides which, I'm a blonde. All right, <laughs> I'm really a blonde right, right now. Okay, anyhow, she said, "Hi, Katrina. So excited to receive and hit. Look at this beautiful pink with the gold heart, and it says grateful. I love that. It's healing my head, my crown chakra. Um, so excited." To receive another piece of your beautiful artwork and to add to my collection. Yes. Sh MC first bought my artwork before I did the affirmations. There was a, a small uh, bucket of time that I didn't do any affirmations. I just mailed the artwork. Sometimes I think I threw in the Palo Santo, but not all the time. Anyhow, um... I, and she bought it way back then. And uh, some of it, did she bring to her job? I think she did. Um, and then she was redecorating, doing a lot of peach, I think, and gold. Um, but the whole fact of the matter, and then I did get her back. I did get mail her a folder of all the back paperwork of all the chakras so that she'd be up to date. Like one, usually every time you purchase something, I'll always give you the paperwork on it. But sometimes I'm giving it to you over and over again if you are a repeat buyer. Um, so, because I'm always like, ah, oh, people lose the affirmations. Or they Maybe they misplace the folder or whatever. So let me throw it. Let me give it to you again. Don't worry. I have a lot of folders left over from Flyer B when she gave me a whole bunch of folders when I thought I had the third grade classes. And then I also bought a whole bunch of folders when I thought I had the third grade classes. So don't worry about art. Don't worry about school supplies over here. Okay, so thanks for everything. Your videos bring so much joy to so many. Love you, MC. And I really appreciate, I appreciate you, MC. And thank you so much um, for supporting my channel and supporting me by buying my artwork so many times over. Um, and then... Uh, so she gave me the payment. Thank you so much for your payment and being generous for, towards the um, shipping. You didn't have to do that. And uh, I hope you got your artwork. I hope you got it. Because I know Christmas is crazy, but I did mail it. Take me to the church she bought. And I kept that because I had a shellac it. I had put another shellac on it. But I was spending time with that. Take me to the church. I really was. Okay, so I'm just trying to bring my incense over because I hate when you guys can't see my incense. Because you notice I don't have my music on um, because my iPad went dead because I was watching it. And yeah, I haven't... I'm going to tell you something about the cases after the unboxings. Okay, so thank you so much, MC. She gave me... All of this oh, incense. She gave me myrrh, which is really, I'm going to save that for really spiritual moments when I'm trying to connect with the um, my spirit guides and the spirit guides of the people who have passed, and the children especially, and the missing. Um, she gave me dragon's blood. That's kicking it old school, Mystic Brady style. Dragon's blood is really, I mean, myrrh is frankincense and myrrh. I mean, come on, the three kings brought this to baby Jesus. But dragon's blood, I used to use that back in the day when I was doing a lot of Suzanne Morphew cases, uh, Gannon. Um, I, think, I think Bella Butterfly might have mailed me some dragon's blood. And they were actually for the 
when I did the burns, okay? I will go back to doing the burns, guys. I will. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just like life has been so busy and hectic. Um, but I still managed to get, you know, 1,500 videos out. So don't worry. I will get back in there because I like doing the burns. The burns, you know what I liked? When I used to sit right outside at my table or stand outside at my table and do it right there. For some reason, I like that location. I like to be under the sky or under the umbrella. So, I mean, the weather's been terrible. It's been rainy, stormy. So, I will get back to the burns. Thank you, MC. I will definitely be using my myrrh and my dragon's blood. And then she also gave me precious patchouli. Some people call it patchouli. I call it patchouli because I'm from New York. So, okay. I love the smell of that. I'm trying to find a perfume that is patchouli and gardenia. Uh, me and Devin were looking online because I ran out of my, I had Prada. I bought myself in Aruba. I bought myself um, on the way home in the airport in Aruba. Um, I had a li little bit of a layover. So I bought myself some Prada perfume and that was like a hundred dollars. But I treated myself to that because I felt I deserved it. But I also ran out of perfume and I wanted that nice scent. Um, but I was very disappointed with it. It did not hold the smell and it, it's, uh, it's empty. I kept on putting it on just so I could smell it and it did not hold the smell at all. I need a perfume that holds the scent, like Michael Kors, uh, that's what I would always use. But I, I, I don't know, I kind of got away from that. Um, so I did order something, Devin ordered something for me, I'm gonna try it. I think it might be Versace, very, you know, very small amount. Versace Bright something that has a little bit of gardenia smell. Um, but everything was just really, the prices were ridiculous. But, but you need to have perfume. Perfume, I would wear it every day when I go to work. Or wear it just like, it changes the chemistry of you and kind of cheers you up if you get the right scent. Anyhow. So, she gave me lavender. 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 And that is one of my favorites too. Thank you so much, MC. Thank you so much, Tracy and MC. I really appreciate it. That's a lot. That's a lot. I thank you. And you know how I go through sage like it's uh like what how fast you change your underwear. Okay? Which is pretty fast at age fifty nine, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Can we take a commercial break? Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the bad jokes. Okay. Um, so the next, next up, we're still doing the unboxing. I know I'm very spoiled. Okay. But, uh, the last unboxing is from my beautiful friend, Bella Butterfly. Be merry. Be merry. Isn't that beautiful? It matches my nails. It straight up matches my nails. Look at that. That'll be a nice thumbnail. Thumbnail. That would be a nice thumbnail. Oh, now I'm getting stupid. Okay. So it said, it's from my Bella Butterfly. She bought um, the golden one and she bought Iced Faith. And she said that her hubby is very, he resonated very much with the golden one. He took it. <laughs> so he could look at it and I said that's good because that's going to help him his crown chakra that's going to help him with meditation um or just feeling spiritually at peace I believe I see I believe in my work so maybe you know maybe magic doesn't happen I can't say magic happens when you hold the artwork but it's it's for healing I do when I create something I put healing into it I put crystals all over it I put it in the sunlight and the moonlight then I hang it on the wall and I look at it then I take my sage and my um palo santo and I hold it and I say different things on it okay 
You get real witchy with it. No. This this was on um, some of my artwork, and I had to move it in. And then I take it, and I put it in the windowsill so that the sun and the moon could pass over the crystal, and then the crystal is on top of the artwork. So you get all of this energy that's inside the crystal as well. And good thoughts. Okay. All right. So, be merry. And she says, Katrina, tis the season to go shopping. Oh, yeah. I've been going shopping, but I don't like it anymore. Um, dear Katrina, thank you for being a wonderful friend since day one. Thank you, Bella Butterfly, for being my friend. Um, and Bella Butterfly has a, her own channel. Okay? Um, it's called Forever Bella Mew. M-U-A, I believe. And she also sells a lot of different things. Uh, Etsy, and she has clothes and her own hair. Um, uh, you know, little uh, hair clips, all different things. Just go to her page. Um, and she said, I hope you enjoy the holidays with Devin. Your friendship means a lot to me. You're like a big sister. Thank you. Some people say I'm like a big old aunt. No. <laughs> No, they do say that. Or their mother. As long as you keep it at that and don't say I'm like your grandmother. Okay. Unless you're a little kid. Then I'll take you as my grandson or my granddaughter. I'm desperate over here. Okay. God bless you. God bless you and your businesses and everything you do. Love you, Sister Jackie. Oh, thank you. I, we call her Jackie Kennedy because... I started saying uh, her name is Jacqueline. She doesn't mind if I say that. Um, I just call her Bella Butterfly because she's Forever Bella was the is the name of her channel um, and a lot of her things that she sells. Um, she has like the five jobs and she's Capricorn. So she knows she works very hard. Anyhow, um, uh, I, I, I at first said... You remind me of Jackie Kennedy. And she goes, oh my God. She goes, my mother said that she named me Jacqueline after Jack, Jackie Kennedy, the president's wife. Okay, JFK. All right. So I want to say thank you to Forever Bella Butterfly because you were extremely generous. You, you, bought, you have bought so many pieces, at, you know, as well so many pieces of healing art from me, uh, including Tommy Extra. Like when I was first creating Tommy Extra, I made the paintings first before I even wrote one word. It started with the paintings for me. And Devin kept on saying, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to write the words and not do the paintings first. And I was like, nope, it happens with me with the, through the art. I was gonna create a story that had a little boy that moved with his family from New York City to Texas. And everybody's like, all the kids in the school were like, that's you, you're Tommy Extra. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Well, maybe sort of, yeah. Anyhow, um, but she, she saw something that I was creating because back in the day, I used to just always do like throw my artwork into the video and show you what I was working on, show you how the sausage was made um, before it was made. And she saw something that she liked and she said, do you still have that um, picture? It was on a canvas uh, of Tommy Extra's birthday party. And I was like, oh yeah, it's hanging up. And she goes, are you selling that? Or because I want to buy it for my son's birthday. Um, and I was like, I didn't make the book yet, but I said, as long as I get a print of the picture so that f for when I do make the book, because they don't take the canvases, they just take a picture. So I made the prints and, um, so that's what I did. I mailed her. She bought that canvas and she still has it to this day. So I was like, wow, this she sought me out and she she texted me. I remember I was working in a school and on my lunch break, I had an email from her and I was like, wow, she, she's another creator and she does hair and makeup and she has her own YouTube channel longer than me. And 
she she's gonna buy she wants to buy my artwork and I was like so inspired that she she you know thought of my work as being something she wanted to buy because that was like the Tommy extra picture like one of the first things that I ever did towards the book and it made made me push forward to get that book made okay which was really hard to do and now it's even harder because after that happened then the pandemic came so but I did produce that book in and finished it and the copies came out in November 2019 okay anyhow thank you Bella Butterfly I really appreciate you thank you guys for all your gifts um no I'm not done I'm not done okay let's let's take it down a notch relax a little bit chillax yeah I'm not gonna be stupid like I was last night see what the mistake I made yesterday was I'll tell you straight up when I I'm a procrastinator to the nth point right oh that's my head it's just, I'm really getting hot with this wig on. One second. Wig fix. <laughs> that didn't help at all. I'm getting hot. Okay. So, blonde is not my color. Alright. So, I was... I, I wanted to do a quick video. Just like some jokes and hellos and... Uh, moon water. I wanted to show you how I use the crystals because crystal medicine, my friend and soul sister, told me and told all of us, make sure you get your crystals out in that moonlight and um, make sure you do your manifestations or clean your crystals at least. They need to be out in the moonlight. She said all, all, all of our crystals were getting really dirty and I believe that. Mo most of mine do go in the sunlight and the moonlight. Um, and they, they stay there for like, until I remember and take them out. Okay. But I feel protected now. I don't feel like I need my obsidian as much, but I always need my selenite. With all the chakras. This helps me feel better when I have a headache or I don't feel good. You just put it on the body part that needs the help. Okay. So what happened was it was two o'clock and I said, oh, darn, I, I better get, <laughs> I better get my butt in there and just do my quick video or my butt over here to the counter, show you the moon water. It's in the big jug and I will finish that. I'm almost done with it. I won't finish it tonight. I don't think. Um, but I said, before I do that, I better take my medicine first. And then I kept saying, I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine. Uh, but I never poured that said wine until five minutes before I went on the air. Okay? On the air with Mystic Brady. Now, some people might think, why is she whispering? Well, because it's late and my behind this wall is Devin. So, I don't want to be in trouble with the hubby. No, I wouldn't be in trouble. He just knows. He just knows that uh, I do a lot of videos and he wishes that I would, you know, go to bed at a decent time. And I wish that too sometimes. I do wish, that. I, can, I wish that I could be normal. Like I see people in movies like going to bed and they have a book or going to bed joking around with their spouse or they're both brushing their teeth at the same time. And I don't have that because I got into a bad habit of being very fearful and just having my own routine where I power down out here and it's not good because Devin takes up the whole bed now and then when I come in he actually says I disturb him and I take I, I pull the covers off of him and that wakes him up and I'm like I can't sleep on the couch all the time and he's like but you always do 
And then I said, but I have to come in eventually. Anyway, so the mistake I made last night is, number one, pour my glass of wine at said 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? Not that that's so bad. It's okay to pour the glass late, right? But I shouldn't have taken my sleep medicine because the, the sleep medicine pumped in because I was shopping. I was shopping for hours. Then I went food shopping. After the shopping, bring in all the packages. Uh, I, right after regular shopping, then I went food shopping. And that's always a freaking kill. I don't know anybody else agrees, but I go shopping by myself. And usually, um, sometimes Devin goes with me, but uh, or sometimes Devin goes by himself. But when I go food shopping, I don't mind the shopping part, but then you go up and you pay, and it's so many, so much money, so many packages. Then you have to bring all those packages in from the car, and I can't see. I'm blind as a bat. So I have to get a flashlight because it's really dark in the back. For some reason, I always end up coming in at night. And I'm not even supposed to be driving at night, especially with this blind spot and the, the fly that comes, oh, that's always here now. It's like having something. It's like if I take this marker and draw squiggly lines on this and then wear it. And there's always these lines coming in from the bottom and from the sides but I gotta live with it that's what the doctor said you old you old okay that's that's what he said basically both two doctors and I'm like I don't believe that because inside I feel like I'm in my 30s but I guess on the outside I, I look 80 <laughs> but uh anyhow so what are you gonna do Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do when they come for you? I know, so, some people are getting sick of that, but, you know, hey, what are you gonna do? This was the color of two of my sister's hair growing up. My sister Susan and my sister Karen, they had this color hair. Strawberry blonde. And then, it went into Auburn. I have a really nice curly red wig that I like. I think I call it Karen with a Y. K-A-R-Y-N. Okay, this is karma. All right, because it's like Carmel and it's karma is a bitch. Okay, just letting you know. But you know, karma is not a bitch. It, karma really is what everybody gets, even if they don't do anything. Karma, in a way, some people believe, some people don't believe. Karma is what God writes down when you're born. Your soul has a soul contract that it has to go through. I just thought, I looked up, and I thought I saw this eyeball down here. What does that mean? That's scary. Like, I saw, saw the white of my eye, and the eyeball is like a marble, and it was down. And I just saw the white. That's scary. Why am I freaking myself out? Okay, let's do some cleansing breaths, okay? Old school. Let's let's kick it Mystic Brady style, old school. A jade tree. This was for our wedding. It's supposed to bring you um, good luck and abundance. This is always in the window to get the energy from the and I gotta start holding on to it money tree okay anyhow let's take a deep breath in cleansing breath in we're gonna hold it for five right we're just really gonna fill your lungs with air okay so that I don't have to see like let me see if it's better with the glasses on I think it's a little bit better. Okay, so let's take a cleansing breath in. We're going to hold it. When we let it out, we're going to let it out in spurts. Okay, a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, and then empty. Okay, let's do that.
let it out again. <sighs> again, fill your lungs. I just smell coffee. You ever smell weird scents? Like, I'm right in front of straight up Palo Santo incense. Candles are lit, right? But I'm smelling coffee. Like, fresh ground coffee. I like that. I love coffee. Let me, let me see if I could smell some wine. Yeah, I could. <laughs> okay, you ready? Breathe it in. And now empty. One more time. Hold it longer. <sighs> Empty. <sighs> I felt it better that time. So holding the oxygen in, it's almost like when you feel like you, your heart is speeding out or you feel dizzy, whatever. I always try different things because I want the natural stuff before, you know, the drugs come into play, which they don't come into play anymore because they don't give you anything anymore. So <laughs> not like back in the 2012, 2013, 2014. Okay, and that was it. Anyhow, <laughs> some people will get that. Some people won't. Anyhow, um, just like if your heart is speeding out or you're having a panic attack, drink a glass of water because 10 to 1, 10 chances to 1, um, you probably don't have enough oxygen. You're probably not breathing deep enough. So drink a glass of water. As you're drinking a glass of water, your body has to take in oxygen that's in the water. After that, you try to do the breathing like I just taught you. And why they say, why am I holding up my hand like this? Well, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> I'm going to box you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my sister Christine says that. I'm going to box you up. I'm going to box you. Yeah, that's just said a meeting after she didn't see me for a while. <laughs> Anyhow, um, you, you're breathing in that oxygen. Um, you're having a panic attack. So you concentrate on the 10 breaths. If you Even if you can't hold them in for five and let them out for five, you do it 10 times across your hands. You have 10 fingers, right? So we do it 10 times. So you're going... That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay. Now I already did it. Even if you could just do one hand like that, you're breathing, you're concentrating on your fingers, you're concentrating on your breathing, you're bringing in oxygen to your head, you're taking your mind away from the panic attack, you're taking your mind away from your aggravation, or your anger, whatever you're upset with. Um, and it'll just take you a couple of minutes to do, but a lot of people will fo not force themselves to do it, and they stay in the moment of panic or uh, reliving an event that upset them and then start to think it's going to happen to get, again. Like I remember I was getting in trouble with a, in a school, at, you know, in New York and I was getting in trouble with the principal, not with the school, but the principal didn't like me. So she kept on like calling me to the office, visiting my classroom. Uh, I mean like three times a day. She'd be there in the morning before I even got in the classroom. She'd come in soon after, you know, like she made it her business to call me to her office. So I started to have uh, anxiety attacks that, you know, just got worse and worse. I, I fainted um, 
every time I would have it, there she was. And uh, I went to the doctor, he gave me medicine. The medicine didn't even work. So somebody was telling me, you're talking to yourself, you're going, and I would be like in a total state of panic. I'd be like, this is going to happen again. This is going to happen. I'm going to get in trouble again. She's in, like, they're not going to like my work. I'm going to get, I'm going to be in trouble. This is going to, you know, I'm going to get written up. Uh, this is horrible. Everything I do doesn't work out, you know. So I was like just re-entering all these bad thoughts in my mind. And guess what happened? A lot of bad things happened. Uh, and things would happen over and over again. Plus she saw me in a weakened state and got, she was a narcissist and she got at everything that was my weakness. Um, so, uh, I had to find out, I had to learn through therapy. I went to therapy many times in my life and I had to learn that, stop putting that in my head and just say, you know what? Reverse it. And also with reading Louise Hay, um, you could heal your life and positive affirmations and prayer. Just say, you know what? Um, am I trying my best? Yes, I am. Well, that's all that I could do. Everything else is on them. If somebody wants to beat you up emotionally, or physically, or emotionally, even emotionally or spiritually, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. But are you going to allow them to do it? It has to be you. You know, they could be the worst person in the world. But you have to ha have something in you that says, no, not today, Satan. Not today. Not with this friggin' dude. Okay. Um, but basically, really positive self-talk and take stop yourself in the mode. Uh, I literally still have to do that to this day. Like, I have to stop myself from being too paranoid. Like, if I feel like I made a mistake or the principal hates me, you know, I realize that's talk from, you know, my old school. That's talk from years ago. Just because one principal was like that doesn't mean everybody's going to be like that. That was a different state. You know, that was a different mode that you were in. And yeah, I've proved, you know, that I can work all these different years and all these different schools and basically get complimented, not put down by the principal. So um, I tell myself, you know, are you doing the right thing? And I say, yes, I'm trying my best. Are you, are you doing everything that you think you should be doing um, in the moment? It doesn't even have to have anything to do with school. It could just be in relationships, it could be in family, it could be friends. And then you just say, um, well, you know what? Sometimes that is somebody else's problem and I don't want to make it my problem. So I'm going to release myself from this toxic feeling or these toxic words that I'm feeding myself. And I'm going to feed myself kind words like you are, I am loved and I am lovable and I'm able to love myself and others after loving myself. You got to love yourself first. Okay. If there's anything I learned in my 59 years, that's it. That's it. And you got to have respect for yourself. So I was like, no, I'm not like, it was like my spirit guides. I would say, please, dear God, protect me. Please, dear God, please, angels, help me. I'm scared, you know, like, I'm scared that I'm going to be in trouble. I'm scared that what happened to me in the past is going to happen again. And I'll say, angels protect me. Please, dear God, protect me. Please, Jesus, protect me. Um, I'll, you know, I'll ask any, for any help, you know, some help, please, down here. Uh, nut job over here. And um, and they, first they say, don't call yourself a nut job. But they know I'm only kidding. And I like to do things through humor. I don't like to be politically correct, okay? I don't like to be censored. But anyhow, um, what I hear, when I really started to hear my spirit guides, they were always there. I heard them from time to time. I would hear my mom, you know, try to help me from heaven. 
from time to time, but a lot of times you don't put, turn up the volume on your spirit guides and your angels. You turn down the volume because you think you're just going crazy or you're just imagining it. But no, you're not imagining it because they are with you right now. Just look over to your left. Look over to your right. Look up. Look down. They are just in your energy. Okay? You just have to say, I'm open and receptive to receiving help from my spirit guides, from God, from my angels, from divine. Okay? You want to put all different labels on it. You can. But there are specific people that you think of when you think of heaven um, besides God and Jesus and Mother Mary. There are specific people who you miss that went to heaven. And some of them have become your spirit guide. That means that they watch out for you. They don't have angel wings. They just watch out for you. Some of them have mine. Some of them have angel wings, like Gannon. Okay, Summer. Michael Joseph Vaughn. But Michael Joseph Vaughn isn't my spirit guide because he doesn't really talk that much to me. Um, the ones that talk to me. The children that talk to me, like Tylee, she'll come in. She'll come in heavy. She'll come in hard and hot. You know, she has something to say. She wants me to get on a case, uh, especially involving teenagers or involving, you know, uh, family members uh, hurting children. Um, she'll tell me, Katrina, could you do something? You know, do you magic? <laughs> do you mystic Brady? On that on that case anyhow um when you ask them for help and when I started to really listen and hear them um, it was probably around the time a little bit before I was going through my divorce when I was having that problem with that principal and if you know me you know about that story okay I'm still not able to tell it not ready to tell it um maybe when i'm 60 okay i mean i could tell it i've told little caveats but anyhow it was very very horrible it was like the worst thing as a person who tried their best to become a teacher had a lot of odds stacked against me my mother died when i was in college uh second year of college and um thank god for financial aid because there was really, I had, I was down to one meal a day and lived in my own apartment for a couple of months. Anyhow, um, I used to always ask for help. Please, dear God, help me. Please, mommy, help me. I didn't really hear it that loudly. But then time to time, when I felt like I was going to die, different parts of my life, I think everybody has been there. Um, I would say, you know, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this matrix anymore. And they would help me to live. And I would hear, you can't leave because you have your kids. And I would say, they're better off without me. I'm, I'm a mess. I made a mess of my life and I don't want to do it anymore. And I heard, if you do that, then you won't see me in heaven. And you won't see your father. And when your kids pass away, you won't see them either. And I was like, why not? Because the answer was because you're not supposed to, God doesn't want you to take your life, that gift he gave you. And you have to just keep on going and we will help you. And God always helps you. And you have to have faith that it's going to work out somehow. And I didn't think it would. I thought it was, it was just ruined. I ruined it. Or the principal ruined it. Or my ex-husband ruined it. And I, I just felt done. So I don't know why I'm, why am I talking about this? <laughs> Just because I'm at 5,000. Okay, anyhow. So, the bottom line. Let me let me circle back. Because 
this wig is really hot. I really want to take it off. One second. <laughs> okay, let's get real. Let's get real. I have black hair. Okay. All right. So, oh, so let me just end that depressing conversation. All right. With if I if if I didn't believe that everything. If I didn't hang in there, and I really thought I was dead, um, it would have ruined my kids' lives. Yeah, they would have gone on, but they would have been mega traumatized. More traumatized than they would be with a divorce. More traumatized than they would be with me losing my job. Okay, a lot of people lose their job. Okay? A lot of people try hard and bad things happen. A lot of bad things happen to good people okay so it all worked out because I would have never met I would have never got divorced because I would have been dead I would have never got my job back which I did and then went to work in Brooklyn for five years and then moved to Texas and worked here for eight years okay and counting all right if I was dead so, spirit guides exist. Your angels exist. That's what I've been trying to tell you since 2019. Okay? I started to turn the volume up on, really, when I started meditating. And meditation does not have to be hard. Med I meditate by lighting incense, by lighting a candle, by doing these videos. It helps me to get in my head. And kind of get out of my head at the same time. You understand that? Um, and also meditation. I meditate by Jason Stevenson. And all different kinds of YouTube music. Even for five minutes. Um, depends on what I need. If I need to do a reading. I put on psychic music. Sometimes I put on angel uh, spirit guide music. And you just have to. Plug it into YouTube, and a lot of times the Hertz one, H T Z Z, that's gonna be the ones that really touch base on your chakras. And there's a science behind it. That's like like the people that do the singing bowls. I used to love when Crystal Medicine used to do the singing bowls. She's gotta start doing those again. I'm gonna ask her because she's got beautiful singing bowls, and um. But you can hear them on YouTube too. But when you hear them in person, when she does them, like, it's just like, it just resonates. You just need a couple of minutes of that. Um, anyhow, that's how I get to meditate. Meditation could just be two prayers. One prayer. Please, dear God, help me to feel your presence. Please, dear God. Please, sometimes I'm really very in touch with Jesus, okay? Jesus juice. I see Jesus in my head. Sometimes I get a flash of Jesus. I just see him with the beard and, you know, the one that's in my bedroom. Um, and maybe that's not what he looks like. And maybe a lot of people say, oh, he doesn't, Jesus uh, doesn't have, doesn't have blue eyes because he was in Bethlehem. And so he had olive complexion and brown eyes. But, you know what? People in Bethlehem, uh, Israel, um, could have blue eyes, too. It doesn't matter. It, he might have been black. One second. One second. I have to show you something. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold sweating. Sorry I had to take off karma, but yeah, this is me. Greasy, thinning hair. Okay, I'm going to be doing my hair tomorrow with a hair mask, but first you got to wash it, then towel dry it, and then put this mask on. It's going to be brown. I'm going back to chocolate. Hopefully it'll work. I'm supposed to give a little deposit, a little color. Plus I bought my purple 
purple rain I think it's called where the black part of my hair will get blacker and then the, the purple highlights will get be like a dark purple like these these are from Awaken Intuitive uh, Natalie I love them anyhow look at this guy you love it I love this. I'm going to make a, a canvas of this. This is Santa. You notice something? See, Santa doesn't have to be a white, a little old white man. Okay. I saw this in the store and Devin goes, I know you want that bag. So we bought two of them. And Devin goes, who are you going to give the other one to? I go, I'm keeping both of them. Okay. I said, what well, I'm going to do artwork with whenever I get the chance. Okay. Don't put it on the table. I just heard, don't put it on the table because it's so much on the table. Anyhow, um, do you want to see my hair dye? And then I'm probably going to sign off because it's so late. And I look terrible. Anyway, it's not about how I look. It's about to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart to all my subs and um sandy i i know you bought three canvases from me and i will get those in the mail on monday okay and then be working on them this weekend okay i promise you i'm gonna get them in the mail on monday on monday i do have to send my sisters i have one more sister to send and one friend and then I think I'm done with the mail and I will get your healing art together it's right on my docket okay one second guys I'm gonna go get um I'm gonna show you my hair dye it's not hair dye it's a hair mask and it's it'll make I know my hair's greasy now but uh it was getting really dried out I guess from the color and all that I really need it professionally done but who has the time for that right now Christmas so eventually I will go to the hair place but I can't live with you know it looks like gray and green can't really see it yeah white <laughs> I'm incorrigible okay one second I'll be right back fast right that was fast guys right oh I know this is a long video I'm gonna try to do shorter videos because when I did my six minute video outside yesterday a lot of people liked it a lot a lot of people liked a shorter video because they don't they have a plane to catch or they have they don't have the time, okay? And I don't blame you. So these are the things coming up on my docket. I forgot to... I have the Sagittarius. I don't know what I'm going to do it because i got to get a couple of things done. My son is back in, in Austin. So that means he's coming for Christmas. So I, I have to get this in shape, okay? He might or might not have a girlfriend. He's coming with... Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'm happy about that. You know, like, I just want him to be happy. I want my daughter to be happy. I want my stepson to be happy. I want my stepdaughter to be happy and safe. Anyhow, so I forgot what I was going to tell you now. Oh, so because of the 5,000, all right, I'm going to make it simple. Because I feel like it got confusing with the... When I, I, I reached 4,000 and then some people were old readings and they didn't email me on it. They were thinking about it. Some people wanted art and they didn't pick it. I don't know. So it got messy. So I figured I'm not going to do like 6,000, seven prizes, six, six prizes. 
I'm, it's 5,000. I'm going to do five prizes. So this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be four readings on one piece of art. So how will I do that? Well, I said in my on my community post, the first, you know, I'm going to write down all the people that say they want to be a part of it. Just write your name. That's all you have to do. Say, yes, I want to be a part of the, what do we call it? Mystic Brady Bunch drawing. Okay. And so it'll be like a general reading. So I'm giving away one piece of artwork that you choose. It'll be anything in here. Except for the two Christmas pictures, Devin wants me to keep those, but they're really up for sale. Okay, anyhow, um, so it'll be, uh, well, besides the three pictures that Sandy bought, okay? Um, so it'll be, you could pick any artwork or you can have a reading, okay? But it'll be, so it's five prizes altogether, okay? Now, if... Everybody says, oh, I just want a reading. I don't want your stupid artwork, Katrina. Stop trying to pawn off your artwork on us. Okay. <laughs> Nobody said that. Okay, so, but anyway, if you say that everybody, if everybody, all five of you that win, want a reading, a general reading, then I'll give you a general reading. What you do is, I'm going to write down everybody's name on little pieces of paper like I did the last time, shake it in a bag, and Devin will pick it. Devin or my stepson will pick the paper, pick the winners, and it'll be five winners, okay? And then whenever I could do the reading, I will do the reading, but you have to email me just a little bit of information. Not a lot, a little bit. Maybe some questions. If you want to talk to somebody on the other side, I will try. I always try see who comes to the fence but i i need like their name but i'll i'll talk more about that once i have the winners okay um so that's one um yeah i'm gonna keep i want to keep it simple because i feel like life is too complicated i i've i got comp very comp complicated with the the four winners uh for the four the four thousand i think it was six winners or seven winners i don't know it got all messy. Um, so I'd rather do offer the four readings and or piece of artwork. But five winners all together. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Then we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I think if you don't it didn't understand that, or you don't want to be a part of it, all you have to do is don't put your name down in the comments. If you put your name down in the comments on my community post, what I'm talking about is the community post. Um, if you want to put it on this video, I always check all the comments. So it's not like I get a million. I don't get a million. But it's always better to put it on the community post. Go back to my community post. I don't, I very rarely put up a community post. Like what, twice a month? Okay, if that. Um, I used to be big on it, and then I was like, eh. At one point, I felt like I was begging for people to buy my artwork and readings and stuff, and I was like, I didn't feel, I didn't feel good about that. Energetically, I didn't feel good about that. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that again. If I say anything, I'll say something about the cases or whatever. Oh, and I do want to talk about the cases just briefly. There was a scream heard in the Idaho Four. There's nothing new except they, they, somebody said they saw a white car. What's with seeing a white Honda car, right? I think 2011 to 2013. Um, I don't feel hot on the white car. That doesn't mean it's not real. It just means in this brain, in my third eye, I don't see anything with the white car. It doesn't mean it's not real. It just means I don't feel it for me, for my read. But somebody was talking about this. One of the neighbors did see a SUV, black SUV. For some reason, I want to say Ford. I don't know cars. Okay. So you're looking at somebody that really doesn't know, like, like the difference between you know, two different cars. I, 
I drive a Skyen, and for the longest time, I didn't even know what that was. But I do see a boxy black car pulling up into that driveway. Felt really hot on that. Sorry if you hurt my stomach. Okay. Felt really hot on that. Okay. So. Then there was a scream that was allegedly heard. Oh, yeah. This is big. This is big. Okay. There's a YouTuber named Joseph Morris. I, myself, used to follow him. Not religiously, but when he was doing Gabby Petito. And I'd be on a lunch break and I'd throw on YouTube to see what it, because he was like always streaming, always streaming. So when he did that, when he did that, I was watching it. And I remember he did some kind of sh uh, video where he was talking about Brian Laundry just went on Instagram or Facebook live for like three seconds and he's in a boat. Well, that was a lie. Well, now he came out with another lie and he named his dog Gabby, you know, and that's cute because I love dogs and, you know, he's always talking about Gabby being like a close, you know, close to his heart. And that's why he named his dog Gabby. Okay. So that being said, just recently, just like a day ago, um, there was a story that came out that a neighbor was up at four o'clock in the morning because he just got home from work and he fell asleep. Then um, around three or four, he doesn't know what which which time he was woke woken up by a scream. And Joseph Morris, this YouTuber, put on his show uh, a scream with somebody saying, "Get away from me! Just stay away from me!" And then a scream. Right? And then nothing. Well, that's fake. And then he took it down. Okay? Ikamel, another YouTuber, did a whole video on it. So you can go over there if you want to see what's going on um, with that. It's messed up. That's really bad karma. And why did he do it? For views. So it's sad. It's sad because he's monetized and he's he's doing it because the more views you get when you're monetized, I think the bigger the check or the, yeah, the bigger the check. So um, that's really terrible to do that. That's making up. He literally created, you know, a screaming girl. You know how bad that is for the families? that are waiting to and all the people that live there all the students that are, are going there or afraid to go back to school and then you put that that up and then people think everybody was like oh that sounds like Kaylee oh did you know Kaylee no but that sounds like her okay so that's terrible so he put it up and then he took it down when Ikamel did a whole uh, show on it, on how, you know, that he's been doing this a lot of times. So I'm not subscribed to him. So I, I'm glad I'm not subscribed. Now I won't even watch him. Um, anyhow, I know I'm just going to show you my thing and then I'll be out. Um, yeah, so I will try to get to, um, on my docket, my personal docket, in my mind and my book is I if I have anything else to say about the Idaho four um I will um but at this time there's there's nothing I mean I I did channeling of all the students I told you what I think happened um I gave you letters oh another thing this is so weird Okay, I'm going to write it on this paper. Write it on this label. Remember I gave you letters. And I kept on seeing. I 
kept on getting these letters from the, like day one, my first reading. All right, I did four readings, about four readings, I think, uh, for the Idaho Four. That's not excessive. I don't think that's excessive. A lot of people doing readings every day. And you know what? If they want to do it to keep the energy up, to keep the energy alive, that's good. As long as you're not making up stuff. Okay? And being um, accurate and respectful. Um, but my first video, I, I wrote down some letters. And that was on Thanksgiving 2022. Right? And some of the letters that I got, these are the two letters. So this is an E, I, I drew it in a funny way, and an X. So people are speculating Ethan and Zana, right? I'm watching a video, right? I haven't been able to really tap in, just listening. I just listen uh, to basically everybody, but I was trying to tap in. Like usually my go-to is Jonathan because he has fast videos and, you know, I don't want to spend that much time. Because time is very precious and also you want to keep positive things in your mind and you can't always, like I can't always have murder, murder, the missing, murder and the missing on my head because then I'll, I'll feel depressed 24-7. So sometimes I have to say today is not one of those days where I look into the cases. Today is for Sagittarius or today is messages from the angels. Today is just a blog of uh, nonsense, uh, Mystic Brady isms. Um, but I was watching this video and they were showing the Phi Beta Kappa, the fraternity that Ethan and Zana were in um, from nine, eight o'clock at night all the way till one o'clock or one forty-five. Because at first they thought they went somewhere else. And maybe they did. I still feel like they did. But they're saying that, as far as I know, they were in this fraternity house from 8 o'clock to 1.45. Okay, which I think is sus. I just always want to say sus. Because I think it's so cool when you say sus. Anyhow, the letters on the freaking fraternity building. Look like this. EX. Drop the mic. I don't know why. I don't know if it makes any sense or not. Okay. Anyway, my voice is starting to sound like a man. Okay. Which means I didn't even put the cap on my marker. Pop. So. Oh even show you my thing now this friggin thing I went to Sally's I asked Devin please take me to Sally's take me to the chiropractor take me to uh, the postal annex where I can mail all my stuff and take me to Sally's so I can get he goes yeah you definitely need to fix that hair because he doesn't like this either because the whole back of it is like white I don't know. It's called hag hair. Okay. Anyhow. So I did as much as I love purple. I love my purple. He's like, oh, why didn't you buy black? I thought you were buying black. And I was like, I was thinking of a different way of going. Okay. I was saying, I was actually thinking of like an all burn reddish, but that was like, I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, but I have to get this covered up because I'm just sick of it. So I got this. Take a look at this. Okay, this is a hair mask. It's chocolate touch. I've never used it before. But I got to smell it right now. I know I'm going to screw this up. Oh, yeah, I can't open it because it's all locked. Okay, so I'll smell it another day hopefully tomorrow yeah because I have to work Monday through Thursday and it's probably going to be that same class I worked on Friday or Thursday um so it's going to be hard it is a small possibility I'm not working for them but I have a feeling it is 
So I'll get, I'll get through it. I only have 10 minutes of a break. Um, I'll get through it, hopefully. Anyhow, um, it's Chocolate Touch. It's a mask. And this was $24 for this. So supposedly, everything's expensive, guys. Take a sip. I like this glass. It says Jimmy Bedford. I don't know who Jimmy Bedford was, but. Okay. So, apparently, I had to watch old videos how to do this shit, okay? Apparently, you wash your hair, you, you towel dry it, right? You don't even have to put conditioner in it. But you wash it, you towel dry it, because this is moisture, very, it has a lot of moisture in it. Then you do, just like you do your regular dyeing, wear gloves, but I see some people not wear gloves. Anyway, it only stays in 10 minutes, but if you want to have a richer color, leave it on longer. So I'm going to leave it on a half hour and put a plastic thing over my head. Anyhow, when you wash it out, then you could put in your mousse, whatever you use, um, and then blow dry it or however you dry it. And this should stay in for a couple of washings. I just hope it lasts more than... But then they said every time you, you do the same process, you make sure your hair is washed, towel dry it, and then put this in. And you can just leave it in 10 minutes, it said but I will always leave it in longer and then it goes coats the hair and moisturize the hair okay if this doesn't work and it just like comes out um then I bought the uh arctic fox that I know it that'll work okay it's just that it's so it's so messy it's so messy and I'm getting sick of like every time you could take a shower, it comes out. Every time you wash your hair, there's a purple murder. Okay, but I need to cover up. You know, and I have a lot of gray. You might not think, hey, where's the gray? But I see it. It's like here. Look at that white. Look at that. Then over here too. And then Devin says, well, you're an old dude. You're supposed to have white hair. And I was like, no, but I will die with black hair and purple. Okay? I will. Okay. Anyhow. I should call it a night. I'm sure you're sick of me by now. But thank you, everybody, for every all your support. Just watching me, putting up with me, and um, loving me. And um, I will try my best to do the cases that uh, Tracy asked me for um, uh, Mahogany Harmony, my girl, our girl Harmony. Um, I still will do stuff for Michael and Summer. Um, I just need to catch up. Just the holidays. Holidays, I need to, you know, get through them. And then um, before the holidays, I will have the Sagittarius. Um, even if it's a short one. Because my Saggy Wadgies, I love you. Bayo, congratulations on your new job. My Bayo got a, a new job. And also my Sagittarius uh, is Leisha. Leisha Fierce. She has a um, YouTube channel. So go check her out as well. And she's a Saggy. So happy birthday. Happy birthday month. All those Sagittarius is out there. I love you. You're always adventurous. Usually like wine like me. Except you're more, de you're more, um, uh, what does it mean when you have, when you only drink on the weekend? You have more discipline than me, okay? Anyhow, namaste everybody. I love you. Thank you for the 5,000.